they deferred, so Western Kentucky will receive. It's Michael Matheson. And a touchback here to open things up in Bloomington, Indiana. Empty backfield here to set. And to begin with, and immediately a quick out. And Corley makes the first grab, second on the team in terms of receptions. That's his 10th that he's recorded here this year. You look at Austin Reed. They brought him in from the D2 level, won a national championship at West Florida. And if you followed college football in Western Kentucky, you know that WKU's offense last year was off the charts. Out of the shotgun, and again, a similar target. Irvin Poindexter with the carry out to about the 45-yard line. Reed out of the gun and gets smothered. He was hawking. There's McCullough, the stud freshman, the local product, with the first sack for Indiana. DJ Matthews Jr. making the fair catch call. Empty backfield and a five-receiver set. And pressure coming, and so Bazelak, Connor Bazelak had to get rid of it. Trips to the right, and that's the direction he goes, and he finds his running back, Shivers, who's just about two yards shy of picking up the first down. After the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Defense, number 20, 15-yard penalty added to the dead ball spot. It's first and 10. And seven interceptions tied for best in the country coming into this game. Bazelak, a wide open receiver, and one of his favorites, DJ Matthews Jr., for his 11th catch of the season. Uh, Pickup of 13 on that play. Again to Matthews Jr., who was thinking about throwing it, still looking downfield, and he'll be chased out just about at the 30 yard line. Bazelak who will keep it on the read option and then a late hit coming in and all kinds of flags on that play. Oliver again involved and he's hot. And I think we'll see this frequently today. Counter Bazelak is going to be able to utilize his legs. There, he'd already obviously begun his slide. When you go with the foot first slide as a QB, you're defenseless at that moment. The defense has to lay off. Caleb Oliver again. And then some of the teammates coming to the support to the defense of their QB. He gives a little shove to the face. Probably a bit of a flop from the Hoosiers, but you still have to know you can't do that. After the play, there were multiple fouls on the play. Personal foul, late hit with targeting. Defense, number 20. Additionally, unsportsmanlike conduct, defense, Number 20, that's his first. Unsportsmanlike conduct, offense, number 88, that's his first. All three of the deep, all, all three of the dead ball fouls will offset at the dead ball spot. It's second down. I think from a broader perspective, it seems to me important to point out this part of what I was communicating about yesterday. The game is so much safer as the defenders are working to After get their head out. review, there is no foul for targeting by number 20. It'll be third down. Takes a peek to the left and drops it off into the middle of the field. Eerily similar offense approaches on each of these first couple of drives here. The slot receiver, defense laying off. Shivers trying to find a gap, won't find it on that run. A variety of players have transferred from the power five level. Trying to go on the ground once again, and the tackle made that time by Derek Smith. Bazelak will float it up, a little fade throw, and nobody there. This is Charles Campbell, who was a perfect four for four last year against Western Kentucky. And this one, a 34-yard attempt, and the kick is up, and the kick is good. And three points to start here for Indiana. <laughs> Plays 45 yards, three minutes and 16 seconds to generate that field goal here for Indiana. 
And second drive here for Western Kentucky. And again, it's the former Hoosier product, Irvin Poindexter, who gets pushed back. And Jalen Hall makes the catch right at the 30-yard line. On third and five, all kinds of time to throw. And the catch is made, but was he in bounds? Yes, he was, say the officials. The on the field is a completed pass for Jalen Hall rising up and getting a foot down, or did he? Really nice read, and it does look like he tapped that toe in bounds. Jalen Hall, the Western Michigan transfer. And right up the gut, it's Robichaud with the carry. And we will see kind of a handful of backs here for Western Kentucky. Robichaud getting his first touches here today. And again to Robichaud, who picks up the first down after a couple of running plays. And tosses it into the backfield that time for Corley. Corley's got some open space to run with. He breaks off a tackle, and Corley is in for the touchdown. We have a flag back by the 35-yard line, but right now it's a Western Kentucky score. As you pursue in one direction and try to react back, maybe that call right there, the offensive line going to Britain. Illegal block in the back. Offense, number 75. 10-yard penalty from the spot of the foul. First down. Curious to see what kind of creativity we see with some of these offensive plays here today. We've been told that they spent about 45 minutes on some trick plays yesterday in preparation here for this game. A quick out pattern and a loss, a huge loss, and a tackle in the backfield for Aaron Casey. Reed. And toward the near sideline and connecting with Daywood Davis. Reed again looking to throw, and he was intending to find Davis once again. Reed looking to his left and floats it up and nearly dropped it in. The pass is broken up. A great defensive play. Noah Pierre stopping him on fourth down. Now you get a one on one matchup on the outside, a slot fade from Malachi Corley matched up one on one with Noah Pierre. Outstanding defensive work. First carry goes to Shivers. He's had a rough go of it. And no pickup on that carry. And on that read option, Bazelak showing a little shiftiness. Bazelak faces or er, fakes it to Shivers and over the head of his tight end, AJ Barner. On second and ten. Another running play, Shivers that time. A 50% success rate here so far. Just the third time they've gone for it here on fourth down and they will get stopped on fourth down by that Western Kentucky defense. Big Ten Network, Trace Jackson Davis and some Indiana Hoosiers joining us on the tailgate show with Mike Hall. Motion out of the backfield, and another first down pickup, and a little bit more for Matheson. A pickup of 18 on that play, and uh, brings up first down, a running play. Only a couple of yards that the Hilltoppers gain on that. You know, this is a program that has utilized the transfer portal with some of these players, maybe better than anyone in, in college football, you could argue with some of the success that they've had. And time to throw and connects with his tight end. It is a touchdown. Joey Belgium gives Western Kentucky the score. Belgium operated from the slot, a slight movement to the pocket that draws the eyes of the defense. And then from there, Brian Fitzgerald trying to track back in position. He and Sanguinetti can't get there in time to stop the touchdown. They'll use Josh Simon. They'll use Belgium as tight ends in this offense. The extra point is good. Cooper, Cooper, Cooper. Lamar Cooper Jr. The 
kickoff, and there's a flag on the far end, and Cooper Jr. with the ankle tackle right about at the 35-yard line. During the return, illegal block in the back, receiving team number 18, penalized half the distance to the goal, first and 10. Josh Henderson is the back in the backfield. They fake turn. It's going to be a big play. Donovan McCulley has some room to go all the way across the 50-yard line. The biggest pass play of the day for Indiana. An empty backfield coming out of that timeout. Again to McCulley. Bazelak will keep it. Derek Smith brings him down. The IU coaching staff and their offensive coordinator, Walt Bell, they watched the same film that I watched. They saw this Western Kentucky University defense against Austin P. be harmed quite a bit by a mobile QB. Bazelak, a quick throw attempt, passes broken up to Lee Falasu. Upton Stout is the Western Kentucky returner. Makes a fair catch call, will let it bounce inside the five. It's a beauty. Cam Jones lined up in the middle of the field. Right there, kaboom! Casey right at the goal line. I mean, you can't get closer to a safety than that. The end of the first quarter. Up against it once again to begin the second quarter. Pass play. Over the head of his intended receiver. Again, looking for Daywood Davis. No surprise. Expect all kinds of pressure here coming. And they get out of the end zone. And no gain on that play. Camp Jones, as you had said, Anthony, the first to get to him. Out of Australia, a 29-year-old freshman punter for Western Kentucky. All the way in the back of the end zone. Indiana's going to have great field position. Now, if they can field it, it's Matthews Jr. makes a player miss, and he's brought down at about the 41-yard line. He had that fourth down risk that went against him in the top group to put points on the board. Bazelak fakes to Henderson, and a diving catch for Cam Camper. Offensive coordinator Walt Bell, while he was a head coach at UMass, had his eye on Camper all the way back then. Running play, Henderson right up the gut. It's a big cane and picks up the first down on a second and three play. And another five receiver set look. Drops it to Jalen Lucas, turns 18 years old at the end of the month. Some young blood there in the backfield. Shivers is the one back there right now for Indiana and finding James Bamba. There are multiple tight ends on the field. For Indiana, they do have the ability out of these tight sets, though, to still utilize a tight end like A.J. Barner to create matchups. They give it to Shivers instead, makes his way to the five-yard line. Second and goal now for Indiana. Campers on the move. Takes it to Shivers, looking for the end zone, finds the end zone. It's an Indiana touchdown. Kobe has it for his first score of the year. Wide receiver. I love the amount of pocket movement that Walt Bell's been calling so far. Getting his QB on the move, drawing the eyes of the defense, changing the trajectory of the route tree. Charles Campbell with the extra point. It's good. Bazelak was perfect on that drive, by the way. Moses and Matheson back to receive, and we'll have a flag coming out. Free kick out of the bounds. Kicking team, number 80. The ball will be placed at the 35-yard line, first and 10. Swinging it over to the left side, and Jalen Hall has been one of the active receivers. And a slant pattern to Malachi Corley, a pickup of a first down and a gain of 15. You mentioned the efficiency of Austin Reed. He's been known throughout his entire career, but during the early season for the toppers to put the ball in traffic, put it in harm's way. Hasn't done it yet today. And five different receivers, a wide open man, 
dropped it in the bread basket for Daywood Davis and his second touchdown of the year. Braden Narvison, a place kicker here for Western Kentucky and three plays and that's the Hilltoppers answer. Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage. For the playbook on home loans, Rocket can. Norma's always raspy and gravelly when he's talking. <laughs> I've suffered from that myself. <laughs> Not. That's not that's not a valuable thing to have when you make your living off of your voice. <laughs> and again, Jaquez Evans, nicknamed Donut, is the player who was tended to there on the field for Western Kentucky. The guy who they say could start at about five different positions defensively, he's that valuable. Bazelak, a one-handed crab. It's a beauty. Henderson has it, and he's got more. Look at that cutback across the 50 and brought down in Western Kentucky territory. Got a Hoosier player down here as well, but look at the one-handed crab. That is wide receiver worthy out of the backfield from Josh Henderson. Bazelak. And right at the sticks as he connects with Javon Swinton. Shivers right at the sticks, getting pushed back. Seven straight completions for Bazelak to seven different receivers. Make it eight straight completions. Empty backfield here for Indiana. And that's the running back, Shivers, picking up the first down. Oliver pushing him out of bounds. He'll stay with the empty backfield set, and pressure was coming from behind. A one-handed grab, but incomplete. Running play to Shivers, who spins away. And about three yards short of picking up that first down, a gain of six. To add the power that he brings to it as well. That's a part of why he was able to pierce the defense. On third and four, Bazelak has gone to the left. This time he goes to the middle on this drive. Shivers on the move. And right too low at his fingertips. Incomplete. The ruling on the field is a backward pass recovered by the defense. First down, Western Kentucky. Connor Bazelak was standing on about the 17-yard line as he delivered the football. So a huge turnover. It's something that Western Kentucky in this defense has done. Got to be ready for all things up here, Alfie. Flag thrown before the snap. Full start. Offense, number 75. Five-yard penalty, first down. Lead again out of the shotgun. Hands off to Irvin Poindexter. Said he hadn't talked about playing against his the old program in preparing for this week. Reed will keep it. See what Reed can do on third and short. A design quarterback run, and looks like it's just it's short of the sticks. He'll bring up fourth down. It'll be Tom Ellard to punt. Connor Delt to receive for Indiana. Delt trying to fight that sun. He'll let it bounce. And it'll roll inside the five. 60-yard punt puts Indiana deep into their own territory. And Emery Simmons with the catch. is deflected and is it intercepted western kentucky is down and the ball is dead blown dead at about the 10 yard line the pass uncomfortable for counter bays like but then all these other hilltoppers defenders converging on the football while it's in flight derrick smith nearly had the int Tyson Summers, the folks around Western Kentucky, the defensive coordinator, they say that he's kind of the mad scientist, kind of drawing up blitz packages. 
fun to see a, a guy like him work and as well as, as Tom Allen working with Chad Wilkes. And a special teams play there for Indiana, upon a 51. Spartans are ranked a top 25 football team. Another quick strike over to the far sideline and Dalvin Smith making the play. Reverse flea flicker. Said that they worked on those trick plays over to Corley. Corley makes a man miss, cuts into the middle of the field and is brought down just about at the 20 yard line. The secondary for Indiana this year. Reed has been impressive in this first half, goes right up the middle, and the pass is incomplete. Couldn't get a foot down. Michael Matheson tried his best. Reed once again to Matheson across the 15. McCullough at the bottom of your screen, crossing pattern. Difficult thing when you blitz against a, a quick striking air raid offense, you don't normally get home to sack the QB. The flag is thrown, the touchdown. Nope. Holding offense, number seven, 10 yard penalty. First down. First and goal from the 13. There's your pressure coming and providing it here for Indiana, Aaron Casey. Looking to his left, again to Matheson. And a tough, tough defensive play. Taiwan Mullins feeling pretty good back in this game to make that defensive stop. Reed with time to throw, now the pressure's coming. Gets rid of it, a huge hit at the end of that play. Narvison's kick is up and good. Low kick, rolls into the end zone. 47 seconds before the half for Connor Bazelak in this Indiana offense. Bazelak, that helps here for Indiana, right across the 50 yard line, Velasi making the tackle, but it's Cam Camper with the big gain of plus 26. So less than 50 seconds, 75 yards from the end zone, absolutely no chill in the Hoosiers offense. Tempo, tempo, tempo! Oh, nearly a one-handed grab by Matthews Jr. Some work to do to get to that range. It's Camper again for a first down. The pressure was coming from the edges. Oh, Camper couldn't hang on. Empty backfield, Bazelak. Bazelak is brought down. And Halasi with the sack. Second, third, and 16 for Indiana. Short pass play attempt over the head of Sean Shivers. You can still attack inside and have time. Yeah, sitting at the about the 15-yard line to begin this play, and a deep attempt going all the way for the end zone. And Matthews Jr. took a hard hit. You didn't know that they mute your microphone? Do they do that? They do. 17 to 10 at halftime. <laughs> Shots. <laughs>186. He's like a rock trying to bring down a rock. That's on the rock with the soft touch and the hands on the pass play by Indiana. 
Florida native. They wanted him then. They they got him a few years later. Camper is short on the first down. Very chirpy, but he loves that because last year they didn't have that big personality on the offense. Yeah, I love the swagger. Chirpy. Chirpy was a good word they used offense yesterday. Though. Number six. Five-yard penalty. Second down. Josh Henderson now in the backfield for Indiana. And nearly picked off on third and six. Bazelak on the move. Tough catch to make. And holding on is Emery Simmons. But a huge hit that time by what do they call Donut Evans. He's one of these players that gets utilized in a variety of ways for that Hilltoppers defense. Doc Wes Evans had to leave the field briefly earlier. Broken up by Davion Williams again. Anderson is swallowed up. Quick play here for Indiana. Well over the head of Camper. Campbell from 32 out. The kick is good. He is two for two on the day, but a flag. Be an offsides call. Offside. Defense. Number seven. The penalty is declined. The point after. Good. Toppers appropriate. Hill toppers. Do we have authority for that? We do way? not. We do not. We can pretend like we do. Right. Michael Matheson fields the kick. Tripped up. Rusty seems to fit more of a football player. What was your favorite nickname? We we did not make the graphic. We didn't go tick for me. We, <laughs> we did not. Good blocking there. Found the gap for the first down. Robichaud found the crease off of one foot. And the catch is made right at about the 45-yard line. Low snap, handled by Reed. To the middle of the field, fighting for some extra yardage. A good play by Daywood Davis. The Husky holding. Hold. Offense. Number 76, 10-yard penalty, it's second down. It's new quarterback, new offensive coordinator calling plays for this Hilltopper offense. Again, some time to throw here for Reed. And a big pass play for Burt Jr. Get on that right sideline. Good pass to Hall. Has his blockers pushed out at the 25. Couple of running backs in now for Western Kentucky. Fakes the pass, goes to the middle of the field. Joshua Simon, the tight end. Shop stops short of the goal line. Reed calls his own number and he's in for the touchdown. Defensive right. And so more personnel there. Trying to read it downhill is Cam Jones. Just got outgapped as the interior of that Hoosiers defense getting moved at the point of attack. Narvison for the extra point. He was watching that upset with Georgia Southern taking care of uh, Nebraska last week. Shivers back in the backfield. Gets the handoff and picks up the first down. Like coach said, he always felt like he has to prove himself, and you see right now he's running with a vengeance. Yeah, like two plays, two carries for him. <laughs> Bazelak and pass broken up defensively. Damian Williams has answered the call. Check that velocity that time. Again, going to the right side. Matthews Jr. kind of lost his footing. and Stout to return and try to make something of it. Coaching staff has said that he's played with a chip to prove that he belongs at this level, the FBS level. Ankle tackle, Aaron Casey has put together a, a solid performance defens defensively. That's a loss of one on that play. This is a couple of touches and, and negative yardage. 
stutter step and some hesitation and a burst of speed across midfield. It's a first down and a big cane just like that. Moses with positive yardage on that carry. A gain of 29, fakes the pass. Reed finds Corley, who finds the first down, pushed out. New offensive coordinator calling plays. The cut back, and it's a solid one. And the ankle tackle, the ball is loose. The turnover that Indiana was waiting for. Oh, they said that the ball is down. It's first down. Oh, Christopher Keys nearly maybe had a momentum changing turnover. We'll see the toppers. They may rush over the football here just to be on the safe side. And there the elbows down. He's still maintaining possession of the football until it's jarred loose by the ground. Excellent call by the officials. Oh. Trying to get that yard, looking for that gap, trying to fight for it. And we'll be sure. And pressure coming. Here comes Jones. Intercepted. There's the Hoosier turnover they've been waiting for. They might have had a fumble recovery, gets the interception instead, and now one turnover for each of these teams. Tipping it to himself, what a play. What a play, Emery Smith for the first down. A highlight catch. He may have stick him on that left glove. How do you make that grab? Like tobacco gloves. <laughs> he thought about going to Indiana. And a first down catch made right at the 49-yard line. Henderson in motion. Receives the pass. Henderson looking to maybe make a pass. He'll run instead. <laughs> did he did he cock his, his hand a he little did. bit? He did. Henderson. Pulled down by Derek Smith. And third and seven. Bazelak to the near side. Again, Camp Camper. 11 different receivers, including Camper. And Henderson pushed out of play. Henderson once again breaks the tackle. Henderson finds a first down to the 20. This is the end. That'll be the final play of the third quarter. A pickup of six. Indiana is threatening once again. Football in 60 is presented by Rocket Mortgage. For the playbook on home loans, Rocket can. Backs have thrown for over 300 passing yards here today. Bazelak looking to add to it. That was through the hands of Simmons. Gives it to Henderson. Henderson in for the Indiana touchdown. Dare go QB draw. No, not with the motion. <laughs> Henderson, that motion man, and not even close. Velocity with the big play. Kind of simplify things, shrink the game down, give Tom Allen maybe a menu of calls, defensive calls to make in game. Undercutting that time, Anthony Breckenridge. Deep pass attempt. Deep pass attempt that's broken up. Third and nine. Reed, again, a flag is out. A flag is out, but Jalen Williams there to try to make the defensive play. Pass, holding, defense, number 23. 10-yard penalty automatic, first down. Penalty gives a first down opportunity. Again, here for the Hilltoppers. On second and eight, he draws up a running play, and it is a positive, well positive play. Down the sideline, trips up, saving a tackle. 59 yards, quarterback keeps it. Reed, jump pass. Mm -hmm. On third down, 
here for Western Kentucky. Immediately there. Gargerson with a 20 yard attempt. It's good. Fifth meeting between Western Kentucky and Indiana. Hoosiers have obviously taken the first four. Lucas gets tackled from behind, right at about the 25 yard line. Bazelak getting pressure. Loss of five, second and 15. Bazelak stands in the pocket, and there he was trying to find A.J. Parner. Bazelak again back to throw, and right at the sticks. The ruling on the field is that the ball carrier reached the line to gain. The previous play is under further review. I was going to say it was awfully close. Further review. The ball carrier was down half a yard short of the line to gain. See how much that they can push Connor Bazelak. Not necessarily the, the Bush push, but the, the Bazelak push. <laughs> I mean, it's the same play. You just got to change the name of it. Did he maintain possession of the football? I didn't necessarily see a big surge come from Bazelak himself. If I'm Indiana, I just get lined up and prepare to snap this football. Officials time out on the field for a measurement. I'd like to see more pad level from Bazelak, but they do just narrowly move the chain. So the drive continues here for Indiana. Bazelak, a pump fake. Feed Shivers instead. Ankle tackle by Hunter. He was Barner right now. They can just stand up and throw him the football. Numbers coming. Bazelak had to get rid of it. He's staring at three white jerseys. To be fair, Connor Bazelak, first season within this system. It's one thing that Walt Bell talked about was just getting more recognition and comfort within those moments. Didn't stop and let it roll. That might have touched a Western Kentucky player. The ball was illegally touched by a member of the kicking team prior to being touched by the receivers. It'll be the receiving team's ball first and 10 at the spot of the legal touching. Kai Corley at the top of your screen. He had missed really kind of the last drive and a half for Western Kentucky, the leading receiver here today. It's a running play, trying to chew up some time now for the, the Hilltoppers. Cam Jones with yet another tackle. Oh, the ball is loose. Cam Jones trying to get it. Indiana has it. The ruling on the floor is a catch fumble. The captain of this Indiana Hoosiers football team answering the bell in the open field, one on one with an NFL caliber tight end, Cam Jones. Matthews Jr. makes the crowd and the tackle from behind by Derek Smith. Here's second and six, a low snap that is handled, Henderson. And a flag coming out. Pass interference. Offense number one. 15 yard penalty. Second down. Moves him back. Second and 21. And the pass is deflected down by Evans. Again, working with an empty backfield, Matthews Jr. more aggression from Tom Allen there. This makes sense though, it does. I just assumed they were gonna go for the fourth down. On the 32 yard attempt, kick is up and good. Search 
searching for some extra yardage. It's Jalen Hall. Austin Reed in this offense looking to chew up some time. There's Tyson Helton saying that he wanted to make that decision to so whoever was not the starter would have the capability to leave if they needed to or wanted to. Big run there for Western Kentucky. And that's a backbreaker for this Indiana defense as a flag comes in late. And Kai Robichaux, as he creases the defense, that same Personal counteraction. Face mask. Defense. Number 33. At the distance of the goal, first down. And Robichaux stays in. In the final few minutes, why not have Mr. Reliable in it? And the shovel pass to Mr. Reliable. Ankle tackle by Cam Jones. Braden Narvison, two for two today. This is a 24-yard attempt. So a couple of short kick opportunities here today. You're talking about Idaho and, and Western Kentucky and Cincinnati from last year to this year for Indiana. So until that, that game winning drive, they had only accumulated about 70 yards prior to that drive in the second half. Anderson cuts it back. Personnel to the wide side, you draw the defense there, cut it back. The pick up the short yardage. And again short, clock is ticking, trailing by eight. Henderson picks up the first down. Bazelak to throw, a flag coming. Fire to the pass, holding, defense, number 21. 10-yard penalty and automatic, first down. In the audience who is watching Northwestern football, we've got Western Kentucky and Indiana. Anthony Heron, Lisa Byington, and Crystal Rich with you from Bloomington, Indiana. The Hoosiers looking to make perhaps another comeback and a flag coming out again on Upton. Upton Stout, back-to-back -back flags on back-to-back -back plays. Pass interference. Defense, number 21. 15-yard penalty, an automatic first down. Bazelak looking over his right shoulder. Camper spins away, picks up the first down. Bazelak throws it away. And 53 pass attempts. A new career high here for Indiana. And the ball on the deck. Western Kentucky says that they might have it. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Wow. Number 24. Penalized half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. Wow. Three. The on the field was a fumble recovered by the defense. That yardage will be assessed from the end of the run. It's first down. Base lap. Pump fake. Headed towards Barner's way. No flag. Henderson gets the carry. Henderson inside the five. You see almost a three-minute drive, third and goal. Bazelak, wide open, Cam Camper. Touchdown, Indiana. Good moments in the first half of this ball game as Connor Bazelak was running sprint action, moving the pocket, some called movement of the launch point. Here he was oh so careful <laughs> I mean, because Camp Camper was so wide open. You don't want to blow that layup. Got to go for two. Bazelak looking for someone, floats it up. Catch is made, Donovan McCulley, but a flag is down in the end zone. Prior to the pass. Holding, defense, number 21. The penalty is declined. The result, 
successful two-point conversion. We're tied at 30. Crystal Rich asked Tom Allen about the, the pulse rate of Connor Bazelak, how cool and calm he always stays. We saw that on display. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team number 80. The ball will be placed at the 35-yard line. It's first and 10. The field position has been so crucial. The 36-yard line is the target line for Western Kentucky. That would be for his career long. And a big blast pass play that's broken up. Jalen Williams providing the punch. Reed with a career high day. Playing on the road at a power five school. Pass is deflected. And they bring a couple. Reed calls his own number. He's got wide open space right up the middle of the field. And a first down play, a gain of 19. That kick out of bounds looming large for the Hoosiers. Stops the clock at 29 seconds. Contact is made, and there comes the flag. Pass interference. Defense, number 23, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. Reed, a quick out. Chewing up some yardage, Daywood Davis. Now it's about field position here for Western Kentucky. And they're going to leave it to the foot and the leg of Braden Narvison. Stops the clock with four seconds left to play. Narvison from 44 out. He pushed it. He pushed it. Indiana has life. This is the end of regulation. He has chosen tails. Tails is the call. And it's heads. Indiana, you won the toss. Indiana would like to go on defense, which end of the field? All right, switch sides. Let's go. Run play to begin this first overtime here for Western Kentucky. Read another pump fake, and he goes down. Noah Pierre, the big sack. And maybe a fumble. Hold on. Indiana bringing it. Reed gets rid of it and a tackle. Taiwan Mullen makes a big one. He missed a 44 yarder to win it. Blocked! It is blocked by Indiana. Taking it down the sideline. Hoosiers! My goodness! Fitzgerald taking it back. Jalen Williams, I think, was the player who got the piece. So many elements of this ball game have gone the way of the toppers. Rushing the edge, you don't even anticipate the layout to mean much. But Jalen Williams puts his body on the line for his teammates, going full extension. Well, there's a run play for no gain. Just got it away. Bazelak goes down. Broadrick Martin with the sack. Two receivers on each side and brought down. What a stance here by the Hilltoppers D. Derek Smith making the play. 51 yard attempt to win it. Campbell, kick is up, kick is good! Indiana wins it! <laughs>